Hi everyone, welcome back to the next news where I break down the latest scientific discoveries and developments in artificial intelligence into easy to understand language. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in food technology, plant-based and cell-cultured meat. Since 2009, over 16 billion has been poured into alt meat and dairy. And in 2020 alone, that number was 1.13 billion. A clear sign that investors are betting big on the future of sustainable food. Celebrities like Jay-Z, Oprah, Natalie Portman, and even VC heavyweights like Blackstone are all in on the action. But why? The total meat and dairy industry is worth a staggering $7.3 trillion. And with alt meat startups already capturing a slice valued at $2.8 billion, it's easy to see where this momentum is coming from. But what exactly is alt meat? Well, alt meat, or plant based and cell cultured meat, uses innovative science to create burgers, poultry, fish, and even dairy products without slaughtering any animals. So, how is that being made then? Cells are first taken from the animal. Next, they're cultured in the lab to create something called FBS serum. Those cells then grow into edible tissue inside of a bioreactor. And finally, the tissue is formed into familiar favorites like burgers or nuggets. And companies like Moza Meat are already turning this idea into reality. They recently raised $55 million to bring lab-grown burgers to the market. But why does it matter? Well, first of all, there is environmental impact. Meat and dairy production accounts for about 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And then there is also growing demand. Per capita, meat consumption is projected to jump from 37 kilograms in 2015 to 40 kilograms in 2030. And then there is always market potential. The global cultured meat market could be worth 20 billion in 2027 and 35% of all meat might be cultured in 2040. So basically, these startups aren't just innovating, they're solving a massive problem related to animal welfare and climate change. It's a win-win for investors, consumers, and the planet. If you're curious about the finer details, head over to my blog. For deeper dive into lab-grown meat, plant-based alternatives, and a handy database on food tech startups. I've also linked resources from Quartz, Netflix, and if you prefer a visual breakdown, I would watch those videos. So what's next? In my next blog, I'm going to talk about EVs electric vehicles. We're going to do a deep dive into the industry, market size, and the future of sustainable transportation. 